Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a 50-year-old journalist on a mission to discover and share how to look and feel good for longer in life and with some solid evidence behind microneedling as a safe and effective option for treating fine lines and scars. It's something I've been intending to do myself for years and have always fallen at the first hurdle until now. I have tried in the past to use a little microneedling roller that I used a few times but I'm a bit of a coward and I found it pretty uncomfortable and also I didn't really know what I was doing. More recently though, I've tried what's called a micro-infusion facial system, which uses a little needling stamp attached to a bottle of growth factor serum. So you're getting the benefits of micro-needling and you're adding an infusion of serum at the same time. It's the only microneedle device that I've been able to stick with because it's very easy to use and even I can tolerate the discomfort, ish. So in today's review, I'll talk you through how this Cure Microinfusion system works, the pros and cons, how I'm using it, and the benefits I believe it's having for my skin. So I mentioned in my intro that I have tried on multiple occasions to use a microneedling roller, but I found I just wasn't committing to it. I hate the feeling of the prickles going over your skin and also I just didn't know how much pressure to apply. But I have watched other YouTubers talking about using microneedling long-term as a way to help reduce fine lines, treat acne, diminish scarring, and generally improve the condition of your skin, essentially by causing a little bit of trauma with the puncturing, causing the skin to go into a healing mode and increase collagen and elastin production. Now, causing low-grade trauma to our skin is essentially how most anti-aging devices work. Whether it's through heat or radio frequency or ultrasound, the idea is still the same, to trigger a healing response. But the beauty of microneedling, if done carefully, is that we don't have to worry about unwanted side effects like fat melting, for instance. I say if done carefully because you do need to ensure those needles are kept surgically clean if you can to avoid any chance of skin infection. Now we have had a lot of success in my family recently with needle stamping because my dad and my husband and now my mum have been using a derma stamp with the Calisum hair serum system. So they stamp to open the hair follicles up and then apply the serum to the scalp with great results. And having seen their hair growth success, I've been really keen to try something similar on my skin, but also something that I can commit to and build into my routine. So I'm doing it maybe once a week or once a fortnight. And that's really how I stumbled on the Cure Micro Infusion System because it uses a stamp made up of hollow 24 karat gold clinical grade needles to create controlled trauma in your skin. And the stamp compresses as you push it into your skin, so it has a punching effect. And because you've got a little pot of serum attached to it, it's also pushing skincare products deeper into your skin. The needles are 0.5 millimeters, which is pretty much seen as the minimum length you need to achieve results. As far as the serums go, you can choose between two, depending on your need. So my preference is the rejuvenating serum with epidermal growth factor. It's made from one of the most commonly used in skincare these days, and that's SH oligopeptide 1, which is a synthetic replica of a peptide found in human skin made from a group of amino acids. But they also have a soothing beta-glucan serum, beta-glucans being polysaccharide sugars found in cell walls of things like mushrooms, algae and yeast, and are thought to help plump and hydrate our skin. And the kit arrives with a chamber pot that attaches to a needle stamp. The needles come individually wrapped to keep them sterile, and to use it, you fill the chamber with one of the ampoules of serum, and then twist on the needle head. You turn it upside down for a minute or two to let the serum work its way down the hollow needles. And then you start using it on a clean face. Again, just to lessen the risk of any infection. The idea is that you start at the center of your face and work your way outwards. And I've been concentrating on my forehead where it's surprisingly comfortable to use. Uh, the discomfort on your forehead I would liken to just 
tapping your nail against your skin. Just not a big deal at all. It does leave a little bit of redness immediately afterwards, which hangs around for about 15, 20 minutes or so. And you can see the odd puncture mark, but really nothing very visible at all. And the redness settles very quickly. The next day, you would barely know you'd done anything. But best results are typically seen a couple of days after you've done the treatment. So this is me 48 hours from my most recent treatment and you can only see a tiny little red fleck where I've actually gone round the more delicate area just under my eye a couple of times. Now I know that when we talk about anti-aging treatments and devices there's often an expectation of before and after pictures and I didn't do them here because when it comes to anti-aging, the effects of something like microneedling using a system like this are going to be very subtle. And when you're talking about very subtle changes, it's almost impossible to show in any credible way because minor changes in daylight when you take pictures can make a big difference. So you'll see better before and after pictures where people are using it regularly and over a period of time for things like scarring and also for mild acne that's where it's going to offer more visible results. Why I've started to incorporate microneedling into my skincare routine long term is to form part of an armory that helps me optimize the condition of my skin. I'll talk more about this in a skincare routine update over the summer, but basically I'm looking for ways to gently stimulate my skin without being overly aggressive. So I use a retinal, retinaldehyde, every other night. I use red light, but just for six minutes, five nights a week. I use a microcurrent wand several times a week. I also use a vitamin C serum on my skin in the mornings, and I've been trying out methylene blue at night as well. More on that on the channel soon. I use a peptide moisturizer morning and night, and of course sunscreen. I take collagen and NMN supplements along with a multivitamin, and I've upped my exercise and the amount of protein I eat while reducing my sugar intake. And this is a routine that's pretty gentle, but I feel is delivering good results for my skin. And no one thing stands out as the thing. It's about finding a mix, and it doesn't have to be an expensive mix, but a mix of skin stimulators and supporters to help improve and maintain the health and volume of your skin. So I feel it would be disingenuous of me to pass off one thing as being the most helpful. Uh, but I do feel I've honed in on a skincare routine that works for me and now incorporates frequent red light and a little micro needling as well. I always link to the products I use in the video description and include discount codes where I can, and that includes 10% off the Cure Micro Infusion System. Summing up my thoughts on it, the pros are that it's easy and convenient to use, it is less painful and jarring on your skin and therefore less off-putting to use a stamp compared with a roller, I find. But I do avoid the thinner skin right under my eyes, um, but I treat a little bit on the most upper part. You know, I do find it very uncomfortable on my cheeks as well as the jawline and around my mouth. They're slightly more bearable, but still a bit uncomfortable. But finding something I can actually tolerate means I am way more likely to keep it going and get those uh, longer term benefits of microneedling. Using a stamp means it's a controlled compression into your skin and it helps deliver good quality skincare ingredients into the stratum corneum so they penetrate the skin barrier. You only need to do this for five minutes every two to four weeks to get results. On the con sides, there's a lot of serum for one treatment and the serum's a bit sticky, so I don't like to leave it on my skin all evening. I usually wipe it off after about 10 minutes. And if I'm meticulous about hygiene and sterilize the needles and lid with an alcohol wipe after and before use, sometimes I have to admit to using the same needle head twice. I'm Scottish, I can't help myself. I am genetically programmed to get more than one use out of things. So I don't like single use objects. That's not obviously the recommendation. I am just being honest. Also, I'm not sure why the needles don't screw on top of the serum bottles rather than having to distill the serum into a chamber, but I may be missing something. It just confuses me because I then find I'm rinsing out the chamber bottle after I've used up the serum. And that feels a bit less hygienic than just twisting the needles onto the serum bottles in the first place. Another con is the price. 
is in it always. But at the time of filming, the Cure system is $169. That's around £139 for a three month supply of six micro infusion treatments. That's reduced at the moment from £297, which is a lot of money. For four micro infusion treatments, it's $149 down from $198. So that is way more expensive than using a simple microneedling roller with a serum of your choice. It is, however, competitive with an in-clinic microinfusion facial. They're typically priced from around £120 or $150 per treatment, roughly speaking. Cure also say they ship free worldwide. Now, I use my peptide cream immediately after microneedling, and then I use my red light mask for six minutes to boost the results. And as I said, from an anti-aging perspective, I don't see instantly dramatic changes other than skin smoothing and brightening. But I have seen enough evidence with microneedling to be convinced of its longer term benefits and that's why I've adopted it into my routine. Do you use microneedling? If so, what do you use? How often and how does it help you? Let us know in the comments so we can learn from each other. If you enjoyed this video, then by giving it a thumbs up, you help it reach more people. As ever, I hope you found the information shared here helpful and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.